Hey everybody, welcome to 4C Sports Cards. This is Pete. Today I got a couple of boxes of the 2023 Top Series 2. Didn't know that Series 2 came out. I've been busy this summer, just kind of ran across them on the internet. I'm like, you know, I got to grab a couple. I built sets, uh, hand correlated sets. I've been doing it since 1977. I got one for every single year. I got Series uh, 1 for 2023. This I need to build a Series 2. And this is what I'm going to do today. There's not much in these. These This is the Mega Boxes. There's not much inside of them. It just says look for some new Golden Mirror base parallel cards. Nothing fancy. Just uh, enough. It's a great box to build uh, build my sets out of. I know I can probably buy the uh, the set for cheaper when I pay for these boxes. But what's the fun in that? I like to open packs. I like to smell the ink. You know how it goes. Everybody likes to open up packs of cards. All right, before I get into the boxes, I got two of these. Before I get into the box, I'd like to thank everybody for the last video. For all the support. You guys were great. The comments were awesome. Awesome. I only got five dislikes. I'm not sure, but there's five people out there that didn't like that video. But hey, any kind of support is good support for me. So I appreciate you guys all watching. Let me flip the camera around and then we'll get to those cards. All right, you got the camera flipped around. Just like I said, nothing spectacular. Series two, uh, mega boxes. They got 16 packs, uh, 16 packs, 16 cards per pack, 256 cards sold. Perfect boxes to build and collated sets. Not too expensive. A little few picture of what they might have inside there. Maybe I'll grab something. I don't know what else they got in there. I'm not expecting nothing too much out of it. Just want to build my set. I don't think I can build a complete series two set of two boxes. So I did buy a, um, a hobby box. I'm going to see what, what I can get out of the hobby box. But I grabbed the hobby box. I'm, I'm thinking out of all this stuff, I could probably... I could probably build up a Series 2 set. If not, I'd grab another couple of boxes of this stuff. Not too expensive, but they're fun to rip. I love ripping packs. Let me get these here. Make some room for myself. All right, let's start with the first pack. We got Stars of the MLB. What is this backwards card? Ah, what is that? Is that one of the, I don't know, favorites, something. Might be one of those cards that they said to, to watch out for. Got them. I think I got the cards backwards. That's why they're backwards. Let me flip them the other way. All right, Future Stars. Jose. Oh, that, Tops always got their stuff all flipped around. Burleson. Try to get that glare off the cards for you. If you haven't seen the Series 1 or 2, the, the cards are pretty nice looking. Uh, they got great pictures this year. Good cards. They're actually good stock on them. They're very, very nice. Most of them are pretty centered. If you guys are into that on these, if you want a great base cards. But yeah, they're, they're pretty nice cards. Joe Ryan. Hensley. Try to throw my rookies to the side. Put them off to the side. Kelly Anderson. Murray Field. Michael Taylor. Miranda. Turner. Lewis. Yeah, very nice looking cards. I'm sure. I'm sure these will be, you know, some of the better ones that I've seen the past few years. Tops has been getting better with their stuff, but um, you know, these some of the some of their card stocks, some of their the designs are just they're just not really good. I like this design. Got Irwin. And we got Guthrie. Olsen. Saverno. Jameson. Try to go through them. I don't want to keep you up too long on this video. I guess there's a lot of cards to go through, but I'll just kind of skim through them. You guys can take a look at see what's up. If you see anything that I'm missing here, let me know. Diaz. Yeah, it looks like we got a... I guess this might be the blue for Francisco Alvarez. Looks like the blue one. Yeah, that's the blue parallel one. Let me put them to the side. And Josh Young. MLB starts at MLB. All right, get these out of the way. Just hope I can don't have to buy too many boxes to get my set out. I was gonna get a um, what was that one? The, the big box. I forgot, I forgot what it's called. The big box, but that thing. What well, they want almost two hundred fifty bucks for that thing. I just didn't didn't feel like spending that kind of money. Rookie card. Freeman. Eh, just a typical stuff. Nothing fancy. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out of frame here. I'm trying to look through the back of the camera at the same time. Call Erwin Brennan. Ribiera. 
Well, they're very nice looking cards. I really do like these cards. This one is Gabriel Morano. Next one is go through again. Looks like we're doubling up on some cards here, which probably will be a common theme with these things. Yeah, these are gonna grab a few extra cards here. Allen, Cotto. Yeah, these are good if the kids like to buy cards. These are good cards to buy. These are these are the retail boxes that you probably get at Targets and stuff like that. Great for the kids. They're not overly pricey. Shohei Otani, look at that one. You got a 35 year. I like that one. Put him over here. Gunnar Henderson, stars of the MLB. Good one there too. Yeah, these are good for the kids. They're you're not you're, they're not going to get nothing. You know, they're not the the three hundred dollar a box style. You know, these, these kids can't open, can't make you know, can't have fun opening cards anymore. But these are perfect form. You know, something for Christmas, birthdays. Grab a box. Kids will love them. All right, Tomino, Barlett, Ryan, Austin Riley, Polanco, Oswald, Cabrera. Very cool. Kind of looking forward to, um, I don't know, I hate saying a uh, winter time. I've been so busy this summer. Haven't had time for anything. Can't watch any games. I don't think I've turned the TV on for the past three or four weeks. You know, if we get done working around the house, I'm exhausted. I just grab some food, get to bed. It's just tough. I'm just kind of looking forward to the snow again. That way I can get a little more freedom to do what I want to do. Miguel Cabrera. You know, I hate saying that. Snow's not snow's a bad word around here in Michigan, but man, this is it's just been tiring. Senga, of all. Kind of skim through that stuff. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Spent the day at the lake. First one's in, last one's out. It was a great day. Didn't do anything. Just relax. Just relax on the water. Great stuff. Ah, what do we got here? Kyle Tucker. Some kind of sparkly something. I don't know what that is. I'll put that one to the side here. It's got to be something. Oh, what is this? Roki Sasaki, Japan. And Carlos Correa. He stars at MLB. Planning a trip to California in the next couple weeks. Like I don't have enough stuff going on. My wife wants to hit the coast of California. Maybe if I run across some card shops or something, I'll stop in and see what they got going on. Never, never been to California. I think it'll be a fun time. We're planning on doing a road trip. We're going to start off flying up to Seattle and just uh, driving down to Los Angeles and flying home. We got there for a couple of weeks. Be nice. She wants to see all the all the sites, you know, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff to see between Seattle and Los Angeles. So I think it'll be fun. But it's just so so much going on between that and you know family stuff and graduation parties and weddings and holy cow a lot of stuff going on andre well because of blue parallel i guess and giancarlo stan star of the mlb actually pretty nice cards i hate moving the cards around too much i hate scratching them up but that is what it is these aren't high-end cards like most of my stuff Nicola Dolo, Andy Burleson, Hutchinson, Shudo. Very cool cards. I like the pictures. They got good, good, uh, good shots on them. Clear, crisp pictures. Another Shohei cards. And Shohei, he's he's been doing great this season. From what I've been hearing on the radio, I've been watching the games, and he's been doing great. Check up the crowd, man, Bo B. Yeah, he's 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 gonna be. <laughs> everyone knows it, but that this kid's gonna be one of the one of the best. Get make some room for myself here. 
I'll put up a couple more here. Looks like you got about five more packs on this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold you guys up. I think I'm just going to do one box because there's nothing exciting here to see. It's just the same old repetitive stuff. So I'll do that on my own time, open them up. I'll just do just the one card just to give you guys, uh, or one box. Just I wanted to give you guys an idea what these cards look like talk with you guys a little bit and just kind of hang out and do our thing i also what else was i gonna do I, oh, I got a basketball box i think i got a uh, optic 2023 optic box i'm gonna probably open up that one it's, a, it's gonna be a short one it's only like i don't even know one pack in there or something a couple of packs just a small little mega box i'm gonna open up that one i'll probably do a video on it all depends on how i feel just not, not very much time to do anything I'll probably I'll probably do a video. It'll be a short one, a couple of minutes on that one. Michael Ayers the third. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip through these last few packs. I'll let you guys go. I don't want to hold you up opening up another box and kind of seeing the same old stuff. Nothing nothing high end here, so you're not gonna see nothing good. See what we got here, Christian Walker. If I miss something, I'm not really paying attention to the to the cards because my glasses are not working for me today. I think I need another prescription. These are readers, but the way it's been, I've been wearing them so much, I'm going to... Oh, I see a Johnny Bench card. Ooh, Legends of the Game. Very nice. Cool. Nice Johnny Bench card. I think it's time for me to upgrade my glasses. I can barely see the cards with my readers on. Yeah, old age. That's, how, that's what happens. Old age and not take care of yourself. All right, five, well, five more packs. Let's get through these real quick. Skim through them real quick and just kind of see what we got going on. Usually, you like, don't like to rub it on each other, but at this point, not really worried about it. What we got here? Looks like we got Javier Baez and Kyle Schwerber. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys were all great. You know, all the comments were very supportive. I had a few guys who were upset with me, but I, I figured somebody would be upset with it. I like talking to people, good or bad. I like to communicate, chit chat, just get some feedback. I'm just here opening up cards, somebody to talk to. My wife don't care about cards. She don't want to listen to me talking about Johnny Bench. All these guys here, she don't care. She's like, what the heck are you talking about? Baseball cards are for, for kids. <laughs> That's all my friends talk to me. Like, hey, what's wrong with you? You're you're old man. What are you playing with baseball cards for? Those are for little kids. You should give this your grandson. I'm like, yeah, I'll give him some too. But, you know, people don't understand. Now, they're one of them sparkly cards, whatever that is. I'll have to look into them, see what kind of cards they are. Jordan Alvarez, MLB. Oh. Okay, we got three left. A couple of hide in the bottom. All right, what do we got here? Kirloff. Very cool. Yeah, skim through that. Dominican, Heloy Jimenez. And Xander Bogarts. A lot of those MLB cards. Started the MLB, I guess. Get quite a few of those. Nothing spectacular. Probably just throw them in a. Give it to my daughter. She's a teacher, so I'm probably just gonna give those out to the kids. I usually box up stuff. But once a month, I'll give them some stuff to give to the kids. Let's see, what we got Nelson Cruz. I do got way too many cards, especially with all these base cards. Once I build a set, I usually throw them in a. A big box, but I'm just gonna start thinning that stuff out. Don't need all that. Alex Manoa. Just getting way too many cards. I gave away a bunch of cards a couple of years back. And I'm just kind of starting to gather up again. I'm gonna have to get rid of them. So let's see. Last pack, and I'll let you guys go. Just my me mumbling to myself at this point. Yeah, there I Hate flipping these cards, but. I'm also going a little too quick, and I see that little reflection on the camera. Sorry, guys. 
sure by now I probably lost half my viewers people get bored after a bit so I don't like to make them too long I got Ronald Acuna Jr. all-star very nice looking card and the last card is Chris, Christopher Morrell, uh, stars of MLB. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys all hanging out with me. I did want to open up the other box. I'm not going to waste your time and hold you up. You guys see what, what kind of uh, cards come out of these mega boxes. Nothing spectacular. I'm thinking if you're looking for something higher end out of the tops, you probably get go into the uh, jumbo box. That's what I was thinking about. The, grab the jumbo box. They got, I think, four autos or four relic cards or something like that. But these, uh, these retail uh, boxes... Every now and then you'll get a hit, you know, but very rarely. It's mostly stuff like this. You're going to get basic stuff. Good for the kids. Good for building uh, base sets, stuff like that. If you guys like to open up packs, that's that's the, that's the good one to buy. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next. I will have that uh, the optic uh, box for the basketball in a couple of days for you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.